Okay, my name is Christian Balducci and I'm a member of the EOP Executive Committee. Um, I'm here with uh, Professor Vicente Gonzalez Roma, uh, who has just given a keynote speech at EOP Congress. And I would like to thank Vicente for accepting this interview. Thank you. Thank you. So my first question is, uh, how did you come to be interested in team research? Okay, well, it was uh, a long time ago. <laughs> When I finished my PhD it was uh, 1989. Uh, well, uh, my supervisor, uh, Professor Peiro, uh, was commissioned to do a uh, research about uh, Valencian primary healthcare teams. And at that time, the healthcare system in, in Spain was uh, suffering a transformation, and uh, they were transforming the system, a system based on the individual physician to a system based on a team of physicians, nurses, social workers, etc. And they wanted to know how the transformation was going on. So uh, Professor Peiro invited me to, to join this project and uh, this uh, was how it started. Why do you think organizations should care about teams and teams' research from a work and organizational perspective? Well, uh, nowadays uh, organizations are facing complex, multiple problems. And uh, it's difficult to find a single individual with all the skills, all the abilities, all the knowledge required to solve this problem. So I think that Teams composed of people with different abilities, different skills, can provide nice ideas, uh, smart ideas in order to solve these problems. And at the same time, working in teams also uh, help, helps people to fill affiliation needs. And I'm really convinced that uh, working in teams, people can flourish. So in your experience, do organizations devote sufficient attention to interventions of work teams and groups? It's hard to, to answer these questions because, you know, there are so many different uh, types of organizations. Based on my experience, I, I can say that big organizations, big international firms with uh, a strong human resource department, they pay attention to these things. They pay attention to, to the team uh, thing, right? But uh, at least in the place where I live, in, in Valencia, in our province, uh, the majority of, of organizations are small or medium-sized. So and normally they, they don't pay my, much attention to, to the team thing. We try to, to convince them that they should pay more attention to, to the team thing but it's hard. But, but I'm convinced that uh, intervening on teams and building teams can, can deliver many, many benefits to, to organizations. So you're saying that also the size of the organization... It's the size, the tradition, the culture, it's important. So how would you define the robustness of uh, team climate research in general? And how would you strengthen yeah. this robustness? Well, in, in my talk, I, I show that the, we have a lot of evidence, empirical evidence, uh, showing that climate, team climate is very important uh, in order to understand team processes, communication, conflict, team states, cohesion, and team outcomes, satisfaction, absenteeism, performance. So I think the, the, the evidence we have right now is very important. But we have very few intervention studies. And I think that uh, we, we should have more because it, 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 intervention studies can show us what things we have to do in order to improve the climate. And the few studies that we, we have so far show that climate interventions, specifically those aimed at the, 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 the team leaders, are not so complicated and they pay off. They can have important results. So I think that uh, we as academics and also in collaboration with firms could do this kind of intervention studies because 
it's, it's uh, positive for science and it's positive for firms. Now we try to change perspective a okay. bit. Uh, so we take the perspective of a young scholar in uh -huh. our area. So uh, could you give uh, three suggestions to a young working organizational psychology researchers who would, who would like to become very good researchers in our field? Okay, good, also good question. Your experience. Yes. I mean. So the first one is would be uh, to be open-minded <laughs> because we have uh, many things to learn. And so it is good to, to be open-minded, to see how other people work on the same topic. So that's why it's also a very important thing to visit other research centers. So you can learn how other people approach similar problems. I think it's also very important to learn how to do research. In my experience, I, I, I think, based on my experience, I can, I, I can say that it's very important to have a solid and methodological base because this will help you to answer new questions and maybe new questions in a in a different way so this is very important then it's also very important to read to read to be updated yeah? and even for young uh, researchers i think it's very important to be involved in the science production system. So it's very important to participate in the, in the review process of manuscripts submitted to, to journals because uh, when you read the manuscripts you can see some positive points, some uh, negative points, but, but when you participate in the review process you also can see the perspective for other reviewers and the perspective from the editor. And Looking at all these different perspectives is very important to enrich your own perspective. So, I mean, and also keep on studying, studying, try and, and receiving training, and giving training when you can as well. So, you have a last question, so. How do you see our discipline in terms of contributing to the greater good and to a more inclusive society? In other words, do you think that work and organizational psychology is doing its part in some way? And if not, what we could do more? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, our discipline, as you know, is doing something. And we have some people working in humanitarian work and organizational psychology. We also have people working with immigrants in order to integrate them in our societies. Uh, we also have people working with unemployed people and this is also a very uh, interesting line in this, in this line. And personally, I, I've been the director of the Career Center in my university and we, we have been working with uh, new graduates and unemployed graduates and this is a very important uh, activity that psychologists and we from our universities also can do. So I think that this is very important. And I think we can also do another important thing, that is to train uh, young researchers and young psychologists from developing countries. So that when they come back, they can put into practice all the things that they have learned to contribute to developing their own countries. And well, we are doing something similar with Erasmus Mundus Master. As you know, because we have people from Africa, from yeah. South America, from and, and, and some of them told me that when they come back to the countries, they are very well prepared to do things in their country. So, of course, we are as a discipline, we are doing things, for, but of course, we, we have to do more for having a more inclusive society. Sure. Okay. So, thank you very much. So, we are welcome. The EOP Executive Committee. Thank you again for participating in this interview. Thank you very much. Thank you.